last year they faced their own cuts. Um, they should be part of today's protest but they're not allowed to be. And so I feel that, that whatever we can do to bring them on board would be a positive step. Mm. Uh -huh. Can I just ask something? I know it's this is difficult. We have the same as we go right. It would be really nice to have me to have names. Yeah. Just say your names for right, me. Oliver, um I was there on Day one of the year uh, of Bristol protests, and it starts off with three tents, and it's grown and grown and grown and grown. And I just think that these things take time to build up. But um, like all the other protests, it starts small and it's grown and grown and grown. And uh, so we're starting from a very positive point at this point. Got got some free food here. <laughs> from the willows. <laughs> so cheese, green cheese and chai. So if, if you want them, there is a stay. Are you in the first one? Yeah, yeah. You can you can pass it down. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening. Oh. Hi. Uh, oh. Still video. Hi, my name's Mark, and um, I think there are solutions to the problems that we face. I don't know whether anybody saw uh, Stephen Keane, the Australian economist on the BBC, I think had a valid point about being able to write the...